Oakland, when drawing up the different ways to lose a baseball game in 2019, the A's don't expect to lose many in this fashion. After six shutout innings for Marco Estrada and a two-run home run by Chris Davis appeared to have the A's on track to victory, a rare implosion by the bullpen derailed them in Friday's 6-2 loss to the Los Angeles Angels. The A's were 70-2 in 2018 when leading after seven innings. They are now halfway to that loss total in such situations after four regular season games in 2019. The blueprint of victory that worked the day before was in place. Lou Trevino had turned in a scoreless seventh and it was time for Joe Akim Soria to do his part in preserving a two-run cushion. But he immediately ran into trouble to begin the eighth as he surrendered three consecutive hits to cut the A's, 1-3, lead to 2-1 at the time. After walking Mike Trout to load the bases with no outs, A's manager Bob Melvin went to left-hander Ryan Buckter to face a lefty in Justin Boer. Buckter walked Boer, which tied the game, and Liam Hendricks quickly allowed a two-run single to Andrelton Simmons coming on in relief of Buckter to put the Angels ahead by two. It took the Angels, 1-1, one one, just six at-bats against three different A's pitchers to flip the game upside down. Estrada looked sharp in his home debut. The right-hander held the Angels hitless through the first three innings and departed the game after 77 pitches and having allowed just two hits and two walks with three strikeouts over six innings of work. Estrada is known to be a flyball pitcher. His 24% ground ball rate in 2018 was the lowest of any starter in the majors. It's a style that can create problems, in stadiums where the ball really travels, like what happened to him at the Tokyo Dome last week against the Seattle Mariners when he allowed two home runs over five innings. But at the Coliseum, Estrada should have much more success. The first eight outs Estrada recorded were fly balls, as were 12 of his 18 total outs. He's not a ground ball guy and when you pitch in this ballpark, especially at night, it's an extra layer to try to get one out of there. Melvin said. I think it will be a good ballpark for him and probably played into his Dow decision to sign here. Estrada is looking to rebound from a rough 2018, which falls in line with A's free agent signings in years past. Last year it was Trevor Cahill and Edwin Jackson who resurrected their careers in Oakland. Now the 35-year-old Estrada is trying to get back to his 2016 All-Star form on a one-year deal with the A's. He's been a really good pitcher and the way we were doing things this year, we weren't going to be able to spend a whole lot on starting pitching. Melvin said. You have to find a guy looking to have a bounce-back year. Davis appears to be on a mission to repeat as Major League Baseball's home run king for a second consecutive season. The A's slugger provided the team's only two runs of the night after he blasted a two-run home run to left field in the sixth inning. It was his third home run in what was just the fourth regular season game of 2019 and second in as many games. Davis has homered more than any other player in baseball over the past three seasons. Most of those balls go to the opposite field, but Davis's homer off Matt Harvey was pulled to left and landed well beyond the left field scoreboard. His homer on the day before was also a majestic shot to left that landed in the second deck of the Coliseum. Fernando Rodney's two-run double surrendered to Mike Trout in the ninth extended the Angels' lead to 6-2. This story will be updated with post-game reaction from the A's clubhouse.